Yeah, I got interested in making objects at a pretty young age. My dad's a potter and my mom's a maker as well. She used to make a lot of quilts and a lot of drawings and paintings. Um, so I was around a lot of handmade objects from the time I was a baby. From like here down and let's bend the top a little bit the other way. I'm sort of a process first person so I was initially just really got into the process and just wanted to get as you know as proficient as I could blowing glass and uh, better at making cups and bowls and the, the functional things and you know just really in the last five years I've really started um, pursuing making more sculptural objects. Uh, with with those forms, kind of, it's still still referencing sort of functional forms, but then deconstructing them, putting them back together. We're gonna get it shaped up, let it get cold, and then heat up the surface and start putting the uh, the color pattern on there. I've really been focusing on a body of work that is um, a combination of work in the hot shop and the cold shop, and trying to achieve forms that are impossible or near impossible to make in the hot shop, really working on like flat planes and these really harsh angles and uh, really geometric sort of architectural um, influence forms that are really hard to achieve just in the hot shop. It just gave me this amount of control and precision working with the material cold and then also incorporating other like sheet glass and marble and vitrolite that um, I really enjoyed. I've really been trying the last couple of years to make make stuff that's almost like impossibly clean. This is uh, sort of a 180 total departure from that. Uh, I had done a few tests leading up to this residency, We're really working on getting color patterns where the color is like bubbling through itself and um, really reacting with itself, making kind of odd textural surfaces. Um, so it's really kind of working with the texture and the uh, sort of gritty look to the surfaces. and. Um, offsetting that with the little solid pieces that'll be really pristine and clean. Um, so we're just really working on contrasting the two. All, there's I guess five indentations on here. So each one of these indentations is sort of a seat for one of these solid rods. And uh, the solid rods will be transparent, veiled, solid glass. I think it's probably drawing me back to like the clay roots where it's like a lot of gritty sort of molten bubbly looking surfaces and then um, contrasting that with the really clean pristine glass. Stop! I'm trying to let the you know the surface sort of be what it's about. Tang right there Gabe. Yeah I'll have you blow a little flip. Blow light. Stop! You know, having a residency is like these five dedicated days is really amazing. I've, I've done some other residency op opportunities in the past and it's it's really like changed the whole trajectory of my work just because, you know, living and working in Seattle, I spent a lot of time, you know, working with other artists and making work for other artists. So, you know, by the time I've worked five days on my own stuff, it might be over the span of six or eight months or something. So having that dedicated time and also having the crew available. So, you know, I don't have some of the things that I needed for making this work at our studio and uh, so that was part of the you know the driver to, to do to try you know try this here. So it's great to be here and working with with the crew I've known these guys for a long time um, and work down here with them working for other artists but it's you know it's exciting to be here and working with them on my own work. <laughs>